Alice Grey and welcome back to another episode of Grey Matter, the series of science shorts that talks all things brain and cracks all things cranium. If we get a headache or we do something like break a leg, one of the first things we want to do is to make the pain stop. We want to avoid this sensation because it's unpleasant and horrible. But did you know that there's people on this planet who don't actually feel pain? Congenital analgesia is a genetic condition where people don't feel and have never felt pain. They could put their hand on a hot stove and they wouldn't feel anything. This condition is caused by a tiny genetic mutation in a protein that acts as a receptor on nerve cells. Nerve cells use electricity to pass messages around the brain and the body, and they generate this electricity through the movement of sodium, potassium and chloride ions moving in and out of the cell membrane. When a nerve cell, otherwise known as a neuron, isn't firing these electrical signals, potassium ions can move freely in and out of the cell. However, sodium ions can't move in and out as easily. This maintains an overall negative charge within the cell. When the nerve cell wants to generate this electrical signal, which we call an action potential, it opens tiny gates on the cell membrane called sodium channels, which allow sodium to flow in. At rest, nerve cells have an overall negative charge. This means that when the sodium channels open, the positively charged sodium ions are drawn in. This causes the nerve cell to develop an overall positive charge. This action potential and electrical activity is transmitted by this process happening at every point along the nerve, transmitting the signal along. And in congenital analgesia, there's a mutation in the sodium channels within nerves that conduct pain signals. This means that the sodium can't flow into the cells properly and it can't transmit the pain signals. Now, because pain is such an unpleasant sensation, this might sound like a good mutation to have, but actually pain is really important. Pain teaches us to avoid dangerous activities that could cause illness or injury, and it also plays a major role in smaller actions. Every day we feel minute pain signals. For example, when you walk, tiny pain signals provide a feedback mechanism ensuring that you place your feet properly. So people with this condition don't get those feedback mechanisms. They also can't identify potentially life-threatening issues because they can't detect the warning signs. In some cases, children with this condition have developed large sores around their mouth because when they lick their lips too much, they can't tell that they're breaking the skin. They've also been known to dip their hands in boiling water without realising the danger involved. So people with this condition have to manually learn and remember what's dangerous, whereas we have a feedback mechanism that instantly teaches us. So that's it for this episode of Grey Matter. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for next time.